Brian had just successfully rescued a baby elephant from drowning. As he watched the reunion between the rescued calf and its mother, the herd did something incredible to thank him that left him completely speechless. Brian, a dedicated ranger at the Elephant National Park, patrolled the vast expanse along with his fellow rangers. As they strolled through the park, their watchful eyes scanned the horizon for any signs of trouble. Suddenly, Brian's attention was sharply drawn to a commotion a short distance away. A herd of elephants seemed to be in turmoil. He signaled to his fellow rangers and they hurried toward the scene. As they approached, Brian received a call on his radio from Courtney Kutsia, a wildlife photographer fortunate enough to be at the scene of the unfolding drama. Courtney, absorbed in his work capturing the majesty of the elephants, had witnessed the heart-wrenching incident. The photographer's voice trembled with concern as he relayed the desperate situation to Brian. Courtney had ventured into the park that day, expecting a routine session of capturing the gentle giants in their natural habitat. Blissfully unaware, he marveled at the elephant's grace until the familiar trumpeting sounds took an unusual turn. The once rhythmic noises now carried a sense of urgency and distress. Alarmed, Courtney took his photography equipment and rushed towards the source of the disturbance. His mind raced with fear, imagining a possible conflict between the elephants and predators. As he reached the site, Courtney's eyes widened as he beheld a scene that left him breathless. A baby elephant had lost its footing at a drinking hole and was struggling in the water. The herd surrounded the distressed calf, their collective trumpeting creating a symphony of concern. They seemed unable to get the baby out, and the weight of their majestic feet stomping on the muddy banks was turning the drinking hole into a slippery puddle. Brian and the rangers arrived just in time to witness the bank crumble under the herd and the elephants hastily step back. Sweating and anxious, Brian scanned the landscape and his eyes widened as he saw the distressing scene, a drinking hole where a tiny, helpless elephant struggled to free itself from the muddy trap. As Brian and Courtney observed, a wave of realization swept over them. The herd was not going to leave the calf to its destiny. Sensing the plight of their trapped offspring, the majestic giants gathered around the struggling baby. The enormous mother trumpeted loudly and the rest of the herd joined in, as if orchestrating a rally for help. Careful not to slip into the mud as well, the herd surrounded the trapped baby, their massive bodies forming a protective circle. Brian watched as the elephants communicated with low rumbles and gentle touches. It was as if they were devising a plan, a strategy to rescue their little one. The air crackled with a sense of urgency, and anyone witnessing the scene would marvel at the intelligence and empathy radiating from these magnificent creatures. With determination etched on their faces, the elephants focused their attention on the muddy embankment. One by one, they approached the edge of the drinking hole, their trunks reaching down to scoop water onto the dry earth. The idea was clear, wetting the sides of the hole to soften the rock-hard mud, making it easier for the struggling baby elephant to climb out. Brian observed the coordinated effort of the herd with wide eyes. Their collective strength seemed limitless, and the sheer force of their actions created ripples in the water. As the elephant sprayed water onto the mud, a sense of hope washed over Brian, but it quickly faded as the mud remained unyielding. The baby elephant, still trapped, let out distress calls that tugged at the heartstrings of anyone witnessing the struggle. Photographer Courtney, realizing the significance of the moment, swung his camera into action. With steady hands, he captured the intricate dance of the elephants as they tried to save their own. Despite the elephant's relentless efforts, the baby remained trapped in the unforgiving mud. The herd, undeterred by the setback, intensified their attempts. But with the sun dipping lower and frustration mounting among the elephants, Brian felt a sense of urgency. The mother's mournful moans echoed through the air, a heartbreaking testament to her desperation. The baby elephant, exhausted from its futile struggles, seemed to be losing the battle against the unyielding mud. Brian exchanged a determined glance with his ranger team, realizing that they couldn't rely solely on the elephant's efforts any longer. In a hushed conversation, the team devised a plan. Brian nodded, understanding that their intervention was crucial. They decided to bring in a backhoe, intending to break down the stubborn mud wall that imprisoned the baby elephant. However, as the massive machinery roared to life, the reaction from the herd was unexpected. The air filled with tension as the elephants, agitated and alarmed by the foreign sound, trumpeted in disapproval. The very intervention meant to aid their efforts became a source of fear for the elephants. 
In their attempt to protect their young and ward off what they perceived as a threat, the herd closed ranks around the baby elephant. The colossal creatures, their eyes reflecting both concern and agitation, pushed the baby further away from the edge of the drinking hole, inadvertently making the situation even more challenging for the distressed calf. Witnessing the unintended consequences of their initial plan, Brian recognized the need for an immediate shift in strategy. In their well-meaning but misguided attempt to shield the baby, the elephants had blocked off every conceivable path for the ranger team to intervene. Brian knew he had to come up with a plan B to ensure the safety of both the baby and the herd. Quick thinking became the order of the moment. Brian rallied his team, and together they devised a plan to create a clear space for intervention. The ranger vehicles and pickup trucks were strategically positioned, forming a barrier between the elephants and the rescue operation. The roar of the engines, honking horns, and flashing lights startled the elephants, but it was a necessary disruption to give them the space needed for a safe rescue. As the vehicles approached, the elephants, initially resistant, began to slowly and hesitantly retreat. Their massive bodies moved with reluctance, but still moved. Seizing the opportunity, Brian and his team advanced towards the drinking hole, mindful of the delicate balance between aiding the baby elephant and respecting the natural instincts of the herd. The elephants, despite their temporary retreat, remained watchful from a distance. With the elephant herd dispersed and the drinking hole now free from their vigilant watch, Brian found himself facing an unexpected challenge. The initial plans had fallen apart, leaving him with no clear strategy. It was at this critical moment that the ranger, fueled by a surge of determination, made a spontaneous decision. He would jump into the drinking hole and attempt to save the baby elephant himself. Without a second thought, Brian stripped off his ranger uniform. In his bare essentials, he approached the edge of the muddy pit and took a deep breath. The cold water embraced him as he plunged into the drinking hole, his every move deliberate and fueled by a profound connection with the struggling baby elephant. The water, thick with mud, tested Brian's every stroke as he swam towards the distressed calf. Tired and disoriented, the baby sensed his approach and emitted a low, wary trumpet. But Brian reached the baby and began to gently guide it towards the edge of the hole. The real challenge commenced as he positioned himself behind the calf, pushing with all his might. Despite being a baby, the elephant was not lightweight. The mud, still stubborn and unyielding, resisted their collective efforts. The calf, in its confusion and fear, fought back against what it perceived as another threat. Brian, persistent and fueled by a deep empathy, signaled to his fellow rangers for assistance. They waded into the water, forming a human chain to support Brian's efforts. The combined strength of the team began to make a difference, inch by inch, as they pushed the baby elephant towards the edge. As they reached the edge of the drinking hole, a new challenge presented itself. The baby elephant, still too young to comprehend the intentions of the humans, resisted climbing over the edge. Brian, now waist deep in water, made a bold decision. With the rangers steadying the baby from the sides, he climbed onto the back of the elephant, using his weight to counterbalance the baby's struggle. It was a precarious position, but Brian's intuition told him that this unconventional approach might be the key to success. The baby elephant, feeling the additional weight on its back, initially resisted even more. But as Brian continued to speak in soft tones and stroke the baby's rough skin, a subtle shift occurred. The resistance waned, replaced by a hesitant trust. With a collective effort, the rangers guided the baby over the edge, the muddy ground beneath their feet giving way to solid earth. The moment the baby elephant's feet touched firm ground, a palpable sigh of relief echoed through the air. Courtney, the intrepid photographer, continued to document the unfolding events with his camera, capturing every nuance of the rescue mission. As Brian and his fellow rangers emerged from the drinking hole, mud splattered and exhausted, their attention shifted to the now rescued baby elephant. They anticipated the heartwarming moment when the calf would trumpet and seek out its mother, signaling the triumphant reunion. However, to their surprise, the baby elephant did not immediately venture towards the distant sounds of the herd. Instead, it followed Brian and his team, as if forming an unexpected bond with its human saviors. The rangers exchanged glances, touched by the unexpected turn of events. The bond that had formed in the midst of the rescue seemed to transcend the boundaries between species. Brian and his colleagues, still dripping with mud, made their way towards their vehicles to clean up, change clothes, and rehydrate. 
The baby elephant, however, remained in close proximity, its eyes reflecting a newfound trust. The rangers didn't shoo the baby away. Instead, they offered treats to help it recover its strength, a gesture of gratitude to the young elephant for allowing them to be a part of its rescue. As Brian and his team cleaned up, Courtney continued to record the unfolding scene. The atmosphere was one of mutual understanding and shared experiences. The camera lens captured the quiet moments of connection between the rangers and the baby elephant. With the calf now enjoying the treats and the camaraderie of its newfound human friends, the rangers knew they had a responsibility to reunite it with its mother. They gently guided the baby into the back of one of the patrol vehicles, ensuring its safety and comfort. The herd of elephants had disappeared from sight, and the rangers set out on a mission to find them and deliver the baby to its anxiously waiting mother. As they drew closer to the source of the trumpets, the urgency in the mother's voice became unmistakable. The baby elephant, nestled in the back of the patrol vehicle, responded with its own tentative calls, the bond between mother and child evident even in the echoes of the forest. Moments later, they stood before a towering elephant, the matriarch of the herd, and the long-lost mother of the rescued baby. Her eyes reflected a mix of concern and relief and locked on to the tiny figure at the back of the patrol vehicle. The rangers, aware of the delicacy of the moment, respectfully kept their distance. They gently released the baby elephant onto the ground, allowing it to approach its mother at its own pace. The reunion was expected to be a joyous one, filled with warm embraces and tender moments. However, just as the rangers were about to withdraw, something unexpected unfolded. The baby elephant, instead of running towards its mother, turned towards the humans who had become its saviors. With a surprising display of affection, the baby approached the rangers, extending its trunk as if reaching out to touch them once again. Courtney, his camera capturing every nuance of the emotional scene, zoomed in on the baby's innocent gesture. Taken aback by the unexpected turn of events, the rangers exchanged glances, their hearts touched by the display of gratitude from the rescued calf. As their baby elephant continued to approach, the mother gently intercepted its path, her trunk wrapping around the small figure in a tender embrace. Having experienced the anguish of losing her calf, she couldn't afford to let go again. Every fiber of her being communicated a fierce commitment to safeguarding her young one, a commitment that spoke to the shared vulnerability of all creatures in the vast tapestry of the wild. The rangers, Courtney, and the entire scene stood still for a moment, witnessing the powerful bond between mother and baby. As Brian and the rest of the team, including Courtney the photographer, revved their engines to leave, an unexpected halt brought them to a standstill. The herd of elephants, now assembled and witnessing the freed baby, had a remarkable gesture in store. Courtney found himself reaching for his camera once again, realizing that there was more to capture, a most beautiful moment about to unfold. The elephants, in a display of unity and gratitude, seemed to have arranged a synchronized performance. As if they had practiced this before, the majestic creatures began trumpeting in unison. The powerful sounds resonated through the air, each trumpet a heartfelt expression of appreciation. It was a language that transcended mere auditory reception, reaching deep into the hearts of those fortunate enough to witness the scene. Brian and his colleagues, moved by the unexpected symphony of gratitude, exchanged smiles and waved back at the elephants. The genuine connection between humans and elephants was a shared understanding that surpassed human barriers. The herd, with their majestic forms and soul-stirring trumpets, bid farewell to their rescuers in a way that touched not just the ears, but the very core of their beings. For Courtney, this day had exceeded all expectations. The unexpected events, the emotional roller coaster of rescue and reunion, and now the elephant symphony of gratitude had surpassed anything he could have anticipated. The memories, captured not just by his camera, but etched into the very fabric of his being, would forever remain a testament to the profound connections that could be forged between humans and the magnificent creatures of the wild. What a beautiful way to thank the humans for their help. Would you jump into a muddy puddle to save a wild animal in need? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.